a lot of the paintings, the images were inspired by um, the first summer of the pandemic. I was just, you know, alone painting, um, so the hours dragged on, yeah. <laughs> painting and sleeping. I'm very familiar with the trajectory and the history of American landscape painting, and I think I think a lot of my work responds to it. I I wanted to be a um, a response to history while also sort of situating us in the in the current day, and things like um, adding these sort of gradients that look like 2010s Photoshop um, or like MS Paint when I was a kid. Our worlds are more digital now, and so there's more digital aspect to the paintings. There's, a, there's been a lot of research recently about how trees um, sort of give each other nutrients in their root structures, and that it's just there's a lot of like interesting things about how more, much more complicated their lives are. Um, and I think we've often thought of them as sort of sedentary, um, incidental. Um, and I find that really interesting as these, these other life forms that are so different than us, um, but also kind of relatable. I'm interested in these sort of lurid gradients because I live in Brooklyn and we see a lot of really amazing, crazy sunsets because of, how, of the pollution. So I think, I think I'm, I am interested in making these paintings both about trees but also very much about atmosphere. And I wanted this show to be in a kind of twilight haze of both like maybe the, the end of something or the beginning of something else. Um,